All right, so in a couple of days, folks, all roads will lead to the second city for the inaugural Outsource to Jamaica Symposium and Expo. And I've got President of the Business Processing Industry Association of Jamaica and Director of BPO and Hospitality at Cable and Wireless Business. So Mr. Andrew Fazio is here and um, Gloria Henry, who is President of the Business Process Industry Association of Jamaica. Mouthful. Good morning to you both. Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. BPO, what are we talking about when you say BPO? What, what's that? Business process outsourcing are global services. And this is where we have a number of persons working in Jamaica providing services to large American companies, Fortune 500 companies, who look to move some of their business processes near shore because we're in the near shore market yeah. in Jamaica. So explain outsourcing, double barrel, and explain near shore. So outsourcing, you move some of your perhaps non-core business process like finance and accounting, payroll, um, some human resource, legal processing, um, disbursements, sales, customer services okay. to a location that is set up specifically to handle that particular task. Okay. And so they benefit from the, uh, the cost savings because these companies are set up specifically to do that so they can do it cheaper and then you can focus your in-house operation on your core yeah. or sometimes explore other opportunities to grow your business yeah near shore is near to near to the u.s and canada near to the u.s and canada yeah okay mr fazio um yes. cable and wireless i was saying i didn't know there was still a cable and wireless <laughs> because there are so many name changes but this is cable and wireless business correct and you're more than a sponsor here correct um we are a sponsor. I'm part of the BPIJ as well. Uh, you know, when it comes to business process outsourcing, there are two main blocks that make it work, two fundamentals. Uh, one is people, and there's just amazing people in Jamaica. Uh, and the second is network or IT. C&W, we help power most of the IT that provides the ability for business process companies to be able to function. And uh, we've gone in on a very big way in this industry. Uh, we have a dedicated team just for the BPO sector. And when the opportunity came up to be a sponsor and be a part of this event, we jumped at it immediately. And it would do what for, for your company? Well, it's a, it's a great um, avenue because, again, these companies use a lot of telecom. So for us, to help make sure that we know what good looks like and deliver it in the right way is key to enabling the growth, which is not just good for us, but good for Jamaica and the people of Jamaica. Right. Who is going to be there and who you want to be there? So we have, it's rich content. It's over 32 speakers for the, for the two wow. days. The first day we're focusing on the near shore opportunity and the digital era. So we've commissioned a study on um, the future of Nearshore and the context, you know, Jamaican context and how we will be addressing those opportunities that arise from the digital era. Um, we have Mark Hillary from Carnaby, Brazil, who is going to be delivering our keynote on the first day. Mm -hmm. And we have a number of keynote speakers and fireside discussions that will focus on digital and the Nearshore opportunities, looking at some of the areas that we support the sector through our human capital development programs, mm -hmm. through the telecommunications facilities, through our infrastructure, um, through our other services such as you know IT and other enabling services. Our partner, Hard Trust, will be there and they'll be putting on a career hub so persons can come out and, and engage in recruitment opportunities. And then the next day, it is about next generation of outsourcing, looking at the digital transformation and what is going to happen next as we move up the value chain. So we have presentations on legal process outsourcing, logistics outsourcing, finance and accounting, uh, medical and health services. And we are also going to have two very powerful breakout sessions on infrastructure. Uh, we have the developers talking about infrastructure and the new kind of ecosystem that supports employee engagement, talent development, and productivity. And then we have entrepreneurs who will share their best practices and their pitfalls with persons who are looking to get into the entrepreneurial yeah. opportunities. Mr. Fazio, will your company be presenting there also? Yes, we have, uh, we'll be on a couple of panels including our managing director and our head of products that will be talking, as Gloria said, about digital transformation and why companies should consider and look to do business here in Jamaica. Why should 
companies look to do business here in Jamaica? It's a, well, let me say this, the people are amazing, uh, uh, accent neutral, uh, they work extremely hard, they look at the industry as a career. They're very productive, more than anything. Extremely productive. Uh, people who have come and seen the people work here in Jamaica, many times will decide, okay, this is where we need to put our business, and then grow the business and actually move their business from other countries back into Jamaica. So it's been a fabulous reason, and we want to support them with the technology. Yep. Why is the nucleus of the outsourcing uh, activities in Montego Bay? So that's What's where it started say? some 33 years ago. And uh, because Montego Bay was a natural fit for customer service, coming out of hospitality, we leverage our capabilities because in hospitality. Because of tourism and stuff. Right. In other so, words, we know how to treat. So most of the CRM companies were based there, and the facilities were there. It's a natural, sun sea, work, play right. environment. Right. But Kingston has been emerging. Uh, we have good close to 10,000 employees now on this side between Kingston and Portmore. Yeah. So it has been emerging and we are positioning Kingston as a center of excellence for, for, for higher value type work. Yeah. There is Mandeville as well and there is um, Sandy Bay in Hanover. So we have a number of other areas that are emerging. Yeah, it says 26,000 people are employed, 55 active entities. And, and what are the different things that they do at these entities so we have technical support we do technical support for equipment um, equipment procurement um, we do finance and accounting back office work disbursements we've done um, payroll payroll for companies human resource support um, customer services of course sales sales in fact is a big part of what is done okay. here and um, receivables management okay. as well for Plenty mainly American things. companies so it's a lot yeah. of stuff that's done help desk also is done. Okay. Data right. analytics. You get the final word. Where, when, how much? So it is at the Montego Bay Convention Center. It's April 12 and 13, which is Thursday and Friday. We have most of the BPO companies in Jamaica, Alorica, Conduent, Sutherland Global Services, Collective Solutions, C4 Global. They're all going to be there, Fusion BPO, as well as a number of our partners that support the cluster, um, transportation, telecommunications, power generation, human resource and training, recruitment, all of them are going to be there. The expo is free to the public, um, so persons can come in and benefit from the expo. Um, but the, the conference, there's a $250 discounted rate that we've offered for the conference. If you don't register by midnight tonight, then you would have missed your opportunity to be at the conference. But the expo is definitely free to the public. Well, your memory good. That says 11 to 13. You said 12 to um, So the 11th is really for registration, for early registration and setup and connecting with making reservations for buyers who are coming and um, setting up meetings, B2B meetings and speed networking opportunities. Okay. Why well, you remember good? Um, did you remember? Because I know you went for um, your, Yes. Your, your, uh, so I just wanted to say thanks to my sponsors, my um, platinum sponsor, Cable and Wireless, Port Authority of Jamaica, Factories Corporation of Jamaica, the Special Economic Zone Authority, our strategic partners, uh, uh, Nearshore Americas out of the U.S., Ryan Strategic out of Canada, Hartrust NTA, uh, Wards Power Tool, the Special Economic Zone, um, Fusion BPO, Ingenuity Technologies, <laughs> <laughs> Montego Bay Convention on. Center, a number of sponsors. This is a big event. This is the first time in Jamaica. A number of companies have come out to support us, and we're eternally grateful. And it's going to be an awesome, awesome opportunity. So like Rich to, content. So like you got to Viva, <laughs> too. Your memory good, man. <laughs> Rich content and a real, real productivity for those who are looking to engage, connect learn, network. This is really putting Jamaica on the map in the BPO world regionally. And it's a, it's a groundbreaking event. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Yeah, man. Thanks, thanks for coming. Thanks All for right. coming. Thank Pre you too. President of the Business Processing Industry Association of Jamaica, Mrs. Gloria Henry, and Director of BPO and Hospitality at Cable and Wireless Business, Mr. Andrew. <laughs>